President William Ruto has emphasized the importance of respecting and protecting the rights, uh, the right to worship, asserting that the government will not tolerate any limitations that compromise on fundamental uh, on fundamental worship or fundamental freedom of worship. Rather, Ruto criticized the religious organization Bill 2024 proposed by Tana River Senator Danson Mangatana and assured religious leaders that the government remains committed to upholding the constitution which which safeguards freedom of worship. President William Bruto has assured the church that his government will not allow the freedom of worship to be obstructed amid a proposal to introduce a code of conduct for Kenyan religious centers. Speaking during a church service on Sunday in AIC Milimani, Nairobi, President Ruto stated that he will ensure churches are protected from freely practicing their faith, firing a warning at those seeking to censor their practices. Christians, as, religi as, as, as different religions, we will make sure that we, are, we protect the freedom of worship in Kenya. And I want to ask those who have ideas to allow religious leaders themselves to develop how they want to regulate themselves and how the church, how religious organizations are going to go forward. Ruto further noted that religious leaders should be allowed to develop their preferred policies on how they would want to be regulated. The president's sentiments lie on the backdrop of a proposed draft law seeking to introduce a code of conduct that will require churches to submit financial returns every year to the government in a bid to tame religious extremism and extortion. Religious body in Kenya will decide how they want to make sure that the freedom of worship in Kenya is protected. And I want to give assurance to the church and to the religious institutions in Kenya that we will defend the right and the freedom of worship in Kenya and it will not be compromised in whatsoever manner. The draft religious organization bill 2024, which was presented to Ruto on July 30th and proposes the establishment of religious affairs commission to oversee religious matters as every religious institution in Kenya will be required to furnish the commission with financial returns, accounts, register of members and other documents as required. The proposal has been harshly refuted by religious leaders as many have argued that it may put many religious organizations at risk of facing closure. Dennis Muni, KUTV.